Good afternoon. I'm Chen from the Shanghai Tech University. From Shanghai, China, I'm presenting a novel neural rendering technique called the Neural Opacity Point Cloud, or NOPC. NOPC aims to produce high-quality rendering of fuzzy objects from real photographs. It leverages benefits from both image-based rendering and neural rendering. Here we show a typical augmented reality application of inserting a virtual object, a cat, into a real environment. Since fuzzy objects cannot be sufficiently represented using triangular meshes, traditional mesh-based rendering produces strong artifacts. In contrast, our NOPC produces highly realistic results with convincing fuzzy appearance. For example, we observe sharp and discontinuous boundaries on mesh-based rendering. To render opacity, image-based visual hall or IBOH uses images with alpha mats it sampled views as input, and set out to interpolate RGB and alpha at new views. IBOH reduces aliasing near the boundaries, but fails to preserve fine details such as hair fibers. This is because IBOH requires ultra-dense sampling to preserve details in alpha. It also requires the 3D model very close to the ground truth. Our NOPC technique, in contrast, only requires a relatively sparse set of samples with coarse 3D geometry. In fact, for fuzzy objects, 3D geometry obtained by structure from motion is often highly noisy and contains holes. Surface completion algorithms such as Poisson produces overly smooth results, greatly affecting opacity estimation and rendering. Our NOPC instead directly uses the noisy point cloud as inputs. Specifically, NOPC aims to assign to each 3D point a learnable feature vector that encodes the object's appearance and its contextual information. To render a novel viewpoint VQ, we project all points with their features onto a view-dependent feature map MQ and employ a neural rendering network to decode the feature map to an RGB image with alpha mat. Our feature map generation is based on point feature projection. This step splits and rasterizes projected points into pixels. We record a set SI to associate 3D points with pixels. Pixels not covered by any points are set to the background features F0 learned for each specific scene. Once we associate pixels to points, we then backpropagate the gradients of a loss function in the image space to the ones on the point cloud. Details on the loss function can be found in the paper. We use the chain rules to calculate gradients for points visible in MQ while assigning zero gradients to the invisible points. This makes point projection differentiable, where features can be updated via a gradient-based optimizer. Our rendering network adopts the recent UNET architecture. To handle holes and noise in the point cloud, we replace the original convolution with gated convolution. The brute force approach is to output the alpha mat together with RGB image in the same network branch. However, this will introduce excessive blurs. This is because alpha mats are sensitive to low-level features such as image gradients and edges, whereas RGB image synthesis generally relies on high-level features such as global semantics, and its accuracy directly affects alpha estimation. We therefore expand the network with a new alpha prediction branch and use a skip connection to enable contextual information and to produce more reliable alpha mat estimation. Alpha mats produced by this technique exhibit fine details, and at the same time, they maintain coherence across viewpoints.
For training, we directly use NOPC to render images at the captured views. This allows us to compute the difference between the rendered and the captured results as loss, and update network parameters and point features by backpropagating the gradients from 2D images to 3D point clouds. Once trained, we can render arbitrary new viewpoints using the network parameters and point features. Although there are already various alpha mat datasets available, they are uniformly from a single view. We hence first capture a new multi-view RGBA image dataset. We have designed a special system tailored for fuzzy object capture. We construct a simple turntable system with five calibrated cameras facing towards the object at different viewpoints and another one facing a calibration pattern. The fuzzy object is placed on a turntable with green screen background. The calibration camera can calibrate the position relative to the rotating object. We apply SFM to obtain a point cloud reconstruction of the object. To automatically extract alpha at each sample view, we combine deep learning and green screen matting. Especially with green screen, we obtain an initial foreground binary mask via chroma key segmentation. However, these binary masks fail to perfectly align with the boundaries of the foreground object. We thus adopt deep context-aware matting to refine the mask and then produce the final alpha mat. We have captured five real datasets, CAT, Human Hair, and Hair Styles 1, 2, 3. We have also generated two synthetic datasets, Hair and Wolf. Each dataset contains about 600 images, from which we use about 240 for training and the rest for testing. The point cloud for each scene contains about 300,000 points. In all experiments, we set the target rendering resolution as 720 x 450 with the point feature dimension M as 32. Here, we compare NOPC with the state-of-the-art image-based rendering and neural rendering. In IBOH, we use Metashape to triangulate the point cloud and implement our own version of the IBOH with the same multi-view imports as to our NOPC. RGBANR serves as an ablation study of NOPC, where we extend our RGB branch to output RGB and alpha simultaneously, with the alpha prediction branch is removed. Here, we smoothly move virtual camera around different fuzzy objects. IBOH produces noisy and incoherent results. NOPC, with the same noisy point cloud input, manages to correct many visual artifacts as well as preserve fine textual and geometric details. Compared with RGBANR, NOPC can further capture very fine details in the alpha mat, largely attributed to the use of a separate alpha prediction branch missing in RGBANR. Please refer to our paper for a comprehensive quantitative and qualitative evaluation. Finally, we investigate the feasibility of transferring the learned model of features from one data site to another in two ways. In the first test, called NP plus FV, we reuse the learned network parameters as well as feature vectors from hairstyle 1 to render hairstyle 2 directly. We align these two point clouds and copy point features to hairstyle 2 by the nearest neighbor method. The results exhibit excessive blurs, where many fine details induced by hair fibers are missing. In the second test, called NP only, we will use only the learned network parameters but set out to relearn feature vectors. This accelerates the training process and the final rendering quality remains satisfactory. The study illustrates distinctive roles of network parameters and features. The former encodes how RGB and alpha should be inferred and combined, whereas the latter identifies features specific to geometry and appearance. 
since the two hairstyles exhibit resemblance in color but difference in styles. Recycling the former while retraining the latter yields satisfactory results. For future work, it may be possible to use NOPC to compress densely sampled data in addition to rendering. In addition, we plan to investigate integrating view-dependent and opacity modeling and rendering under a unified deep network framework. Finally, our NOPC are not yet real-time and optimization schemes such as network simplifications may help realize fast rendering even on mobile devices. We are collecting more hairstyle datasets for further research. We have released our code and datasets on GitHub for the community to test and evaluate. Thank you very much for your attention.